Hi, my name is Lenny and in this video I'm going to show you how to build a drum podium to eliminate noise in and beneath your flat for under 65 euros, 58 pounds sterling or under 70 US dollars. I opted for the measurements of 160 centimeters times 150 centimeters as this fits perfectly under my drum carpet. All you need are two laying plates with the dimensions of 250 centimeters times 67.5 centimeters with a thickness of 22 millimeters, three tubes of two meter pipe insulation with a diameter of 18 millimeters and a dam thickness of 26 millimeters, wood glue and assembly adhesive. first thing I did was to cut the laying plates to a measurement roughly 5 cm bigger than the intended length. In my case I made the cut at 165 cm. When cutting be careful to cut one side with a groove, the other side with a tongue, otherwise you will have trouble to combine the two new cuts. I made that mistake and luckily my dad had the tools to cut a new groove and a new tongue on them. Next thing I did was to combine the two original laying plates for which I used normal wood glue. Here you must be careful to have the plates laying on the same side, either the one with or without markings, otherwise there will be a nasty gap. I used the excess wood to make connectors to press the plates together and to give additional strength to the podium. Here you see me screwing them on the plates and using clamps to ensure that there was pressure on the wood glue. Then I repeated the process with the two smaller pieces I cut off earlier. What I did not show you was that I cut the two pieces once again, so I had two new plates with the measurements of 85 times 35 centimeters. When I combined them with the two large plates, I had a podium measuring roughly 165 times 170 centimeters. This podium now I had to cut to the dimensions of my drum carpet, so I used a circular saw to make two smooth sides from which I was able to measure a rectangle. Because we turned the podium upside down earlier, there was enough space for the saw not to touch the floor. As you can see, I placed one of the connectors wrongly, however, Luckily, it was no problem to remove it later. Next, I used a router with a small radius cutter to smooth over the edges and to remove splinters from the cutting process. Also, we used normal sanding paper to smooth over the bottom side of the podium. Then I used the table saw to cut the pipe insulation to create new pieces of 5 cm each. For this I was able to use a limit stop so each and every piece had the same length. If you have no access to this tool or a table saw, you can just easily use a simple cutter or trimming knife, however this was way faster. In the end I had cut roughly 105 pieces I could use. Be careful not to breathe in the sawdust of this insulation as it really, really does not seem safe. Next I drew a grid on the bottom side of the podium so that the insulation pieces looked tidy on the board. I opted for 11 bases on the long sides and 10 bases on the shorter sides. I used the assembly adhesive to attach them to the plate and spread them on the podium. As you can see here, I placed most of the bases in the middle of the board as this is the place I was going to sit the most on and where the most weight of the drum set would be. Lastly, my brother and I carried the podium upstairs in the rehearsal space. I was really happy with the result and as you can see, the two of us could easily jump on the podium and there was no movement at all. There is a lot less noise both in the room itself and at my neighbors, so everyone is happy. 
We have reached the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did like my build and if you have any comments, suggestions or questions, please put them below in the comment section.